people. While people still cleaning up the damage from flooding are being offered new help. Today, two new resource centers are opening up. So next news reporter Ali Hoxie tells us what help you can get and has an update on the survey damage. Trash bags, gloves, sponges, cleaning supplies. These are just a few items being offered for free for people impacted by flooding. Preliminary estimates of the damage are in the tens of millions of dollars. New numbers indicate at least 5,000 people have been impacted by flooding. Today and tomorrow, help is being provided through resource centers. For example, senior citizens who have uh, basement damage, uh, you know, water's ruined stuff down there, but they can't haul and lug the stuff out. We'll have groups here today that will help to find volunteers to come into the basements and help them get that out. A state of emergency was declared because of flooding. Wayne County Homeland Security says they've submitted a preliminary report on the damage to the state of Michigan. I've seen some of the damage. Uh, there's been some uh, tremendous damage in some of the properties. The Resource Center at the Dearborn Heights Justice Center is open till 8 p.m. today. Tomorrow, there'll be another Resource Center location at the Kennedy Memorial Building from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. in Lincoln Park. People are urged to continue to report any type of damage they have because of flooding as county officials continue to look at the impact. Reporting in Lincoln Park, Gally Hoxie, 7 Action News.